Welcome back to DIY No Need to Cry with Ivelis. <laughs> Betty Boop Bottle, requested by Betty Nelson. All the materials that I used for this DIY are listed in the description box below. I got the image by googling Betty Boop coloring pages. Click on images, then click on this image. Click on view image and save to your computer. I wanted to take the dog holding the flowers out of the picture, so I went to lunapic.com to edit it. Upload your picture. On the left, you'll see all the tools. Click on the eraser. Click and hold over everything you want to erase. Once you're done, click Apply. Now click the drawing tool and pick the color black. Draw in all the missing spots as shown here. And click Apply. Now click on the paint bucket, pick flesh color, and fill in her face, arms, and hands. Then scroll to the bottom and click Save. You'll see that it saves as a GIF. And in order to print it out, it has to be a JPG. So I went to Simple Image Converter and changed it. Click Select Image. Click the image. Go to Select New Format and pick JPG. Then click Convert Image. Once the image is done, it will say Image Converted to JPG and Download. Click Download and it will open the new picture. Right click and save to your computer. Now you can see it's a JPG and you'll be able to print it out. I will leave both links to those sites in the description box below. Next, you want to cut your image out. When you cut, don't cut on the black line. You want the black line to show, so cut as close as you can without actually cutting it. My image is red, but you'll see why I didn't advise you to do it this way next. This is what your image should look like after printing it. You can now color it in with marker, color pencils, or whatever you like. I printed mine out, and when I went to glue it onto the bottle, the ink ran. It only seems to do it with bright colors. So, to those of you who have asked me if you can use printed images from home to decoupage, the answer is only if it's black and white or a light color. Color her dress, lips, and hat. 
Taking a pounce of brush and white acrylic paint, I painted the whole bottle. I gave it two coats, letting it dry between each one. Separate the plies of napkin. I used two napkins for this bottle. Using Mod Podge and a clean dry brush, I applied it on a section of the bottle in a thin, even layer. I placed the napkin and continued to place glue until the whole napkin was adhered. Now, using a crumpled up piece of plastic wrap, I smoothed out the wrinkles on the whole napkin. Do this very lightly. Don't worry if it's not perfect, we'll be adding glitter and won't be able to see the wrinkles anyways. Now give the whole napkin a coat of Mod Podge and set that aside to dry. Taking the other napkin, I measured and cut the piece to cover the rest of the bottle. Place it and do the same thing to this piece as you did the other. So place, smooth out wrinkles with crumpled up piece of plastic wrap and give it a coat of Mod Podge. Now I'm cutting pieces to cover the very top of the bottle, but not the neck. Once the whole bottle is dry, cut the bottom excess off using an X-Acto knife. Using a pouncer brush and red acrylic paint, I painted the neck of the bottle. I wanted this to be very glittery without covering the flowers too much, so I used the white glitter fabric paint and spread that over the entire bottle. Once that was dry, using Mod Podge and a brush, I glittered the neck of the bottle with red glitter.
I still wanted more glitter on the bottle, so I added loose white glitter with more fabric paint glitter, and that did the trick. Do this to the whole bottle. Once that dried, I sprayed the whole bottle with a coat of Krylon Clear Glitter Sealer and let that dry. Or you can do what I used to do and use hairspray to seal the glitter. Using Mod Podge and a thin brush, I glued on clear 4mm acrylic rhinestones all around the base of the neck. Now it's time to add Betty. Figure out where you want to place her. Place Mod Podge on the bottle. Place the cutout and then place more glue on top. This is where I noticed the color started running. But no worries, if you do it the other way I showed you, you'll have no problem. Pay close attention to those edges. Make sure they are fully glued down. Here I'm just wiping off all the color that had run. I'm using a wet towel to clean the color that ran all around Betty. Again, you shouldn't have this problem if you color it in after you print it out. Give it one last coat to make sure she's secure and let that dry. Now it's time to add more glitter. Using an angled brush and Mod Podge, in sections, I place the glue inside the black lines. Try not to get the glue on the black line because you don't want to cover that with glitter. Place the glitter. And using a bristle brush, brush all the excess glitter that's not on the desired area. Repeat these steps until you have covered her dress, her lips, and her hat. Now I know she had gold hoops, but I'm giving Miss Betty some diamonds. I used 2mm clear acrylic rhinestones for her earrings and bracelet. I then sprayed her with Krylon Clear Glitter Sealer and let that dry. Again, you can use hairspray if you'd like. 
To the very rim of the bottle, I added 4 mm clear rhinestones all the way around. Then 6 mm in the color deep red. And lastly, another row of 4 mm clear. I then added 2 mm deep red, as you see here, all the way around. And finally, I added feathers to her hat and boa. I put glue on any of the white parts, again, avoiding the black lines. You want these to show. I then cut the feathers and glued them down. Once it's dry, using scissors, I trimmed all the edges and lines to my liking. You'll see me use an X-Acto knife in some spots to cut through the glue in some spots where I went over. And here she is, all finished. Another great request. Thank you, Betty Nelson, for this super fun request. I hope I did it justice. Don't forget to leave your request in the comment section below of what you would like to see me make. As always, thank you for watching, and if this is your first time watching, I hope you consider subscribing to get updates on future videos. And remember, do it yourself, there's no need to cry. If you want to see how I made the cork to this bottle, the link to that video will be in the description box below once it's uploaded.